The average hourly wage for manufacturing workers in the United States is $19.44 per hour, with a standard deviation of $1.37. Assume the data is normally distributed. Use the empirical rule to answer the following questions. In each case, the smaller number should be input first. Okay. So the key here is that we want to use the empirical rule. So let's review what the empirical rule is real quick. Okay, so if we go to our section, here's a lovely picture of the empirical rule. Okay, the idea is, the idea is that 68% of the data lies between, lies within one standard deviation of mu. So mathematically that means if you take mu minus one standard deviation and the mean plus one standard deviation, 68% of your data will lie between those values. If you go two standard deviations away from the mean, then you will be, you'll have a total of 95%. You'll have 95% within two standard deviations of the mean. Okay? And 99.7% of your data, almost all of it, will lie within three standard deviations of the mean. Okay? So those are the magic numbers, 68%, 95%, 99.7%. If we were talking about 32%, your, the empirical rule wouldn't do you a whole lot of good. Okay, The empirical rule is just a rule of thumb that says, okay, within one standard deviation, within two standard deviations, or within three standard deviations, how much of the data should we expect to have? Okay, So that means uh, for this first part, 68% of the U.S. manufacturing workers make between what and what? Well, to find those values, we want to go one standard deviation away from the mean. Okay, so in this case, we can see that the mean is, uh, the average hourly wage is $19.44. That's our mean. And our standard deviation is $1.37, right? Standard deviation of $1.37. And so what we're going to have here is 68% of U.S. manufacturing workers make between one standard deviation below the mean and one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so just mean minus one times the standard deviation, mean plus one times the standard deviation. That's the empirical rule. 95%, uh, 95% is two standard deviations. So mu minus two standard deviations, mu plus two standard deviations. And 99.7%, that's mu minus three standard deviations, mu plus three standard deviations. Now, of course, we actually have to calculate what those will be. But that's the formula for how to get the values for each one of those boxes. Okay, so let me just give you the example for the 68%, and I think you can manage the rest on your own. Okay. So to simplify things, let me find, let me store mu. Mu is 19.44. And my, our standard deviation sigma is 1.37, okay? So one standard deviation below the mean would be mu minus one times sigma. One standard deviation above the mean is mu plus one times sigma. If I run that, that'll give me those two calculations. And so for that first, first uh, case, 68% of U.S. manufacturers make between $18.07 and $20.81, okay? These one, let me calculate just the 95% just to show you uh, one more, okay? So the 95%, 95% is it within two standard deviations of the mean. So I'll just take the same mu, the same sigma. I already have it stored in variables. Now I'll do mu minus two times sigma. Mu plus two times sigma. Run that. 
And so I know that 95% of U.S. manufacturing workers make between $16.70 and $22.18. Okay, so notice we've the, the range between these two values is larger than these two values because we're including a larger proportion of the population. Right? This only conclude, includes 68%, middle 68%. This includes the middle 95%. Okay? Now, I won't fill in this last one. I'll leave that to you, but it's just within three standard deviations. So if I click Submit, okay, and as expected, the, the first two cases I get, it's just that last case of 99.7% where I didn't put anything that uh, we didn't get credit. Okay?